today we are diving deep into the world of mobile gaming and checking out a game that's been making some waves which is art revival the core all right then this is jasper and you can subscribe to this channel for awesome mobile gaming and without further ado let's begin okay let's just say i was a little skeptical the name arts revival sounds a bit cliche but i was pleasantly surprised by the graphics they're honestly top notch for a mobile game the character designs are unique and the environments are detailed so at its core arts revival is a classic survival game you are tasked with rebuilding civilization after a cataclysmic event it's got all the standard survival elements like crafting, scavenging and defending your base. But what sets it apart is its focus on exploration and character development. Get behind my energy shield. Well, speaking about the gameplay, it's a classic RPG but with a twist. You play as a commander, leading a team of heroes to rebuild a devastated earth. The combat is pretty straightforward, like tap to attack and use the dolls to stay alive. It's simple but effective. And there is also a crafting system where you can create new equipment and items, which is a nice touch. And another thing, it's got a pretty solid storyline with a focus on environmental distraction and the human struggle to survive. The graphics are impressive, especially for a mobile game, and uh, the world feels quite immersive. Who is this Brian guy? He's the outcast leader and a freak. So now every game has its bad side and there are a few downsides here too. So the energy system can be a bit restrictive, especially for casual players. You will need to wait for energy to research or spend real money to speed things up. And let's talk about the grind. It can get a bit repetitive, especially if you are trying to max out your characters or gear. It's like the classic free-to-play model, so expect some pay to win elements also the game offers optional microtransactions that can speed up your progress while they're not pay to win they can feel like a bit of a barrier for free players also some players have reported experiencing technical issues such as crashes and bugs while these problems seem to be relatively rare they can be frustrating when they occur Answer my question, lady. Where are those sneaky little rats? You should probably tell me. Three, two, screw you. Has everything been taken care of? Like a boot to ants. Excellent. Don't dirty your shoes. Pleasure doing business. I bid you good evening, Warner. So, uh, what do I like about this game? Well, for starters, the story is actually pretty engaging. It's a post-apocalyptic tale with a lot of twists and turns. The characters are also well developed. Each one has their own unique personality and backstory, which makes them feel more real. And uh, let's not forget about the events and challenges. Um, they keep the gameplay fresh and exciting. And also, there is uh, always something new to do. And whether it's a raid, a PvP match, or a time-limited event. And the most striking aspect of the game is the World of Arts Revival. It is beautifully crafted. 
from the desolate landscapes to the vibrant cities it's a joy to explore also the attention to detail is impressive and the atmosphere is truly captivating also the game's narrative is surprisingly compelling while it's not groundbreaking it provides a solid framework for the gameplay and keeps you invested in the world and one of the game's strengths is its character customization uh, where you can tailor your character's appearance, skills and playstyle to suit your preferences. So this level of customization adds a significant amount of replayability. And well, if you're looking for a challenge, Earth Revival delivers. The difficulty can be quite steep, especially in the early game. However, this can be rewarding for those who enjoy a satisfying challenge. So overall, Earth Revival The Core is a solid survival game that offers a satisfying experience. It's definitely got a beautiful world, a compelling story and deep customization options. While it does have some drawbacks such as grinding and microtransactions, it's definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of the genre. And what can I say, the game has its strengths and weaknesses. But if you are looking for a fun and engaging game to shink your teeth into, it's definitely worth checking out. Just be prepared for the green and the potential pay to win elements. And folks, that's it for today's review. Let me know what you think about Earth Revival The Core in the comments below. Have you played it? What are your thoughts? Also don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more gaming content. See you next time.